Hi there everybody, I'm just doing a very quick uh, review and bit of information about this uh, Sharp 4K Ultra HD television. Uh, the code for it, the model number is 4T-C40BJFK F2FB 40 inch television, which I think is basically this model here for short. But that's what the code I had uh, when I purchased it and I couldn't really find any more information about it so I'm just giving a quick bit of uh, a guide of what you get with the television. So it comes with this remote control here. As you see it's got a few uh, sort of fast option videos. It's got a, a free view play video up there. Your usual kind of numbers, TV guide, picture, sound, source, volume up and down, channel up and down etc. Menus. A kind of navigation button, kind of your hot buttons down here if that'll focus in a bit better, your Netflix, apps and a YouTube button. Uh, but this TV is mainly for the bedroom, so I won't even have an aerial connected into it, I'll just be mainly using a, either a Fire Stick, HD or 4K Fire Stick, a Chromecast, which I've got in at the back at the moment, or just the, the hot buttons and Netflix and the YouTube. So I don't tend to actually watch much live TV now. But it's a 40 inch uh, sharp Ultra HD television, as I said. It's just to give people some dimensions about it and some more information about the ports on it. Because uh, some people were mentioning about the legs being a bit wide. So the television, if I can just get this tape to hook on to the end, if it'll do that for me. Come on, you little swine. There we go. It is about 91 centimetres long by... Get it again. Who can I? Sorry about this. By about 53 centimetres tall. The legs, which... The only reviews I could get from people... Some people were complaining that the legs were a tad on the long side and they are coming in just that pretty much under 90 centimetres leg to leg lengthwise uh, width wise uh, about 180 uh, the reason that I was quite keen to know that myself is that I as I said for the bedroom it was quite tricky trying to find a TV stand or unit that would fit in with the width of the legs and also the length of the legs, because I didn't want it to be too big, as I say, because it is for the bedroom, so I didn't want it to be a big, massive, bulky one that you'd maybe get in the living room. Uh, so I did manage to get one eventually. It was about 1.1 metres by 30 centimetres and about 40 centimetres high. So if I just kind of move round the back, well, here's the box, first of all, that it comes in. to say sharp 4K Ultra HD telly, 102 centimetres or 40 inches, smart LED TV, uh, Aquas... And uh, interestingly enough, the speaker system is by Harman Kardon. And I can confirm after turning it on, the speakers do sound that actually way above my expectations. It's uh, two 10 watt stereo speakers with 20 watts in total. As you'll see in the back, the, the power in is down towards the bottom, slightly just off the left or centre. Uh, ports wise, uh, maybe we're more interested in, we've got two HDMI's here two USB-C's, or just USB, sorry. Uh, you have an Ethernet port and an optical output, and you also have some sort of old-fashioned uh, audio ports there. Around the side, I don't know if the camera will pick this up as good, I've currently got a Chromecast plugged in to the HDMI ARC port, and it also has another USB up here, an SD card reader, and we've got some aerial and satellite in ports there as well. Uh, cables are fairly decent length uh, for plugging in if you need a wee bit extra room but as I say the picture and the sound is absolutely phenomenal uh, I'm using my Samsung S20 to record this so whether it translates through to you guys watching the video I don't know but I'll just play a wee bit of this sort of 8k non-copyright video and uh, the music that plays through it to let you see what it kind of sounds like for a couple of seconds The volume's quite low. Turn that off. 
I'll uh, just pause that again just now. As I say, I don't know how that will translate through the speakers, but it sounds absolutely fantastic uh, in the flesh when you listen to it. I mean, only turned it up from about 15 to 30 there, and that was probably starting to get a bit loud, especially if you're not kind of closer to the television. So sound-wise, absolutely great. And also picture-wise, I really can't fault it. I've only had a quick look at it right enough. I uh, don't know about it long term, but there is plenty of uh, different picture settings you can set it to and also sound settings. And certainly in comparison, just kind of coming through very quickly to my living room, I've currently got this uh, LG 49-inch uh, television in my living room. And uh, in comparison to that, it's not a million miles away. Now, I think I got that late 2017 and I think I paid about £600 to £700 for that, because it was kind of more towards the top of the range, LG TV. This one here, quite unbelievably, I picked up for £224.10. Now, uh, just briefly on that, uh, just a tip for you, I was about to order it through the Curry's website, because it was reduced from £300 to £250 on the Curry's website, and I had it in my basket and I was just about to pay before I swiftly changed over to the uh, eBay store. It's Curry's of an eBay store. And eBay were doing a discount code at the time. And it took another 10% off. So it came down from 249 or 250 roughly. It was around about 250 And that brought it down to £224.10. And it also added in free delivery. Again, through the Curry's website. Uh, delivery was chargeable at either five or ten pounds depending on what time slot you picked so again that was another saving so that was fantastic and even through the ebay site it came with next day delivery uh, so that was absolutely fantastic so it's worth checking out ebay stores just to make sure that there's no extra discounts to be had so yeah that's pretty much it just giving a wee quick uh, video on this because i couldn't find really information on this model myself before i bought it and I kind of forgot about Sharp as a brand. Uh, you tend to think of LG, Sony, Samsung, etc. has all been the, the best of the best. But uh, for the price, this is absolutely unbelievable value. And I'm absolutely ecstatic. For just over £200, this is a, an absolute bargain. Uh, so if you've got any questions about the TV or anything else, uh, you can pop them in the comments. No, I'm expecting a lot of people to watch it, because it's probably not that popular a brand. Uh, but it's just to give some people a wee bit more information about it, if they're thinking about buying it. And if you are thinking about it, buying it, I would certainly say absolutely go for it. You will not be disappointed. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and see you later.